Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Tom, Whiskey Alpha. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. I have a lovely backyard. I have two Sunbrella umbrellas and a nice couch. And what I'd like to have is an antenna, which would definitely ruin the atmosphere here. But what if I made an antenna out of one of these umbrellas? I'm going to try to make one of those. This is going to be one of those projects where I make do with what I have. I've got some 10 gauge aluminum wire. So I'm going to have to crimp it onto one of these terminals. Uh, this one, the whole size is just perfect, but I can't get the 10 gauge into it, of course. So I found this one where the 10 gauge wire fits into there for crimping, but the hole is too small. So I'm going to use a 3 8 inch drill or a rat tail file and uh, see what I can do to make it fit. Okay, now using a tape measure, a pencil, a hammer, a center punch, I was able to find the exact center of the top of the umbrella and drill a 3 8 inch diameter hole, just like that. Okay, so it took the rat tail file uh, to get that open up enough. Uh, now I'm going to wire brush the end of the uh, aluminum wire and then uh, put on some ox guard, because I live near the beach and you never know. Uh, actually, you do know. There's a lot of corrosion around here. <clears throat> That's why um, this probably should be done with uh, copper wire or better yet stainless steel wire, but I don't have those. So that's what's going to happen next, and then I'll put it in order. Um, uh, I will put the uh, bolt in from below with one of the fender washers, and then on top a fender washer, and then the wire, and then uh, with the um, ring terminal, and then another fender washer, and then the nut, and then the the 3H24 extension that will hold the antenna. I don't suppose anybody's noticed that there's been some inflation. That is about $10 worth of parts at Ace Hardware. Yep. So anyway, that's what it is. But you can find it, and that is a 3H24 bolt about one and a quarter inches long. That is a extender or a coupler, 3 8 24 interior, and of course, a few washers and a 3 8 inch 24 nut. That's called fine thread at Ace. You can find them in the fine thread department. Uh, did I mention that I like uh, coating all my outdoor uh, zinc plated parts with Petroleum jelly? I'm not sure that I did, but this happens to be scented petroleum jelly, so uh, my antenna is going to start smelling good now. So here's the um, aluminum wire with the crimped uh, ring terminal that has the ox guard, uh, which is designed specifically for aluminum. Uh, there's something called copper coat or something like that that also is designed for uh, copper wire. It keeps it from corroding as quickly. Uh, but I don't have any of that. Anyway, this is aluminum wire, so it's appropriate. Now comes the fun part. I have an extension uh, socket wrench and a 9 16 uh, socket, and I'm going to try to put it all together now. Um, obviously, since I'm filming this, I can't show you, but I, I will show you when it's all completed. Okay, well, here we have it. This is the uh, top of the umbrella, and uh, that... Uh, aluminum wires crimped on there and it's screwed on there and uh, there's the antenna mount um, and it comes out here and now I have to figure out how to get a wire through the umbrella so that I can uh, clip it to the um, SO239 which I'm going to attach inside on one of the ribs. All right I soldered the wire on the uh, SO239 and uh, then I soldered the halfway mark onto this connector here, uh, which will be connected there when it's on top of the umbrella. And this is the alligator clip that will tap onto the coil when I test it with the SWR meter. Now I wanna mention that since this is going outside, I used a double layer of, uh, of uh, marine grade uh, shrink tubing. So this is actually two 
two pieces, one over another. And marine grain means it has two layers and one layer inside actually becomes almost a liquid and it seals it really well. So this is gonna go outside. I did the same thing on the alligator clip and also here. So this is all done with the, the marine grade heat shrink tubing, which you can get um, at Harbor Freight. That's where I got it anyway. Well, I was gonna go back to the hardware store and get eight stainless steel machine screws, but I emptied the contents of this uh, jar and found eight non-stainless steel screws that will be used for the grounding. I, I will probably replace them with stainless screws later, but anyway, I wanna keep this thing going. And I'm gonna use them with braided copper between the eight ribs of the umbrella. And so um, I'm gonna use a solder wick copper braid for that, since I already have that. I just finished the inside and it's grounded all around and I grounded the pole, it goes all the way down to the ground. I can always remove that ground if uh, the SWR is too high. Okay, this is probably backlit and not very visible, but this is what it's going to look like. Uh, before I put the whip on it. There, there are the grounds, the coax connector, the coil, and where the, that's where the uh, whip will be placed on top of the coil. Here's the umbrella before I put it back up on its stand. You can see the uh, coil and how I uh, put on the coupler and how it's attached down below to the SO239 here plus goes up to the the tap which is this right here you can go to different places here's the finished uh, beneath side, I flipped it upside down to uh, tighten the screws. I should have done that when I was drilling the holes for them. It would be a lot easier, but I did it uh, drilling up. So um, anyway, this is uh, how it works. So there's the ground, and the ground is going to all eight of the, uh, the ribs. And of course, the center uh, is going through the, uh, the center conductor is going through the middle of the umbrella to the top side. Okay, it's testing time. The first antenna I'm going to test is a man pack. I believe this is um, a military antenna about 285 centimeters long. So we'll, we'll try this first and see if I can get any resonance. I'm going to start at the lower end of the single side band on 20 meters. It's a uh, 1.2 two at 14.2, 1.1 at 14.210, and it's 1.1 all the way up to 14.310, and then uh, all the way up to 350, it's, uh, I'd say 1.2. Okay, it's dialed in. Let's try it out. Here it is. There's the coax coming out. Turns out I had to put a 17 foot whip on it to get it to resonate on 20 meters. And then I put a counterpoise on it too. Actually two of them, the other one goes that way. Boy, I got a really good SWR on it. One to one at 14.275. So I'm gonna try it out now. Naturally nobody's on right now, but I just wanted to check the uh, SWR on the radio. So I'll push the button and there it is. Flatlined, one-to-one -one SWR across 20-meter band. Nice umbrella. 40 meters is out of the question, but uh, 15 meters is looking pretty good. Here's the SWR in 15 meters. Looking pretty much like uh, 20 meters. I like it. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel.
Roger, roger. Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf, California. Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf. Greg. Well, I can't complain. That was my first contact with my umbrella antenna. A couple thousand miles, I think. All the way to Washington, almost the Canadian border. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf, California. Okay, got another one. That's Montana. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Roger, roger. This is Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf, California. I have to admit, this is working better than I thought it would. I just talked to Washington, Montana, Washington, Alabama, British Columbia, Wyoming, Colorado, and Virginia. And that's with 15 watts, single sideband. Not too shabby. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Roger, roger. Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf, California. And your name again, your name? Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf. Greg.